having secure cabinets so things are not flying out is definitely a necessity. We love baking and this morning I pulled out a little bit of sourdough bread from our awesome oven. We travel with our Border Collie. This is Lincoln. What's cool about these is they all have zippers and we use them as storage. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Crystal. And this is Emergency Getaway. Come take a tour. Welcome to the Emergency Getaway Kitchen. Alex built this just for me because I love to cook. I have a beautiful butcher block countertop. I have enough room to cook and chop. There's room on both sides of my stove so I can add things when I need to. We have tons of cabinets. Everything's put away because we are off-roaders and if anything's out, it goes a fly-in. This is my spice drawer, which is ginormous. Here we have our amazing oven and stove. We love baking and this morning I pulled out a little bit of sourdough bread from our awesome oven. The oven's from Greystone. Under here we have have um, pots and pans. It's a nice deep drawer. We, we designed it so that we can have bigger pots. Everything holds perfectly when we're off-roading. In this drawer we have all of our knives and utensils and a couple extra things up here. I love how these drawers go all the way to the back. Alex used every little portion of space behind here for storage. It's working out just perfectly. Um, here we have a little bit of space so we created a place for dish sponges and um, a little dresser drawer here also a long skinny drawer for soap and things like that no space wasted under here we have our 95 liter fridge freezer from Dometic. Um, ice cream is a necessity in this house. And also we can freeze bread when we make it and it will be fresh all the time. We have an awesome sink here. It has this little grate on top that you can use it to dry things like a little rack. But we also use it while we're cooking and prepping. We can put bowls here and we can also still use the water which is really, really helpful. It's deep and so we can get those awkward pans in and get them nice and clean. I also love the fact that I can move this around and it's a sprayer. Up here we have our upper cabinets. They're nice and deep and we actually put a, an adjustable shelf in here because we didn't know exactly what we wanted to put up here. Alex used extruded aluminum so we can move things around. This is for dishes and coffee. So over here we have our um, switches for our under cabinet lighting and it's a little bit dimmer for that nighttime evening effect. Over here we have our hot water heater um, controller and also our diesel heater controller. So that's my kitchen. To continue on from the kitchen, we have a lot of storage under our bed here. The front part here is all drawers. We still have room behind the bed as well for our, what we call the garage. A lot of these are more kitchen things. So we have uh, our forks, spoons, utensils, all of that. Her mixing bowls, all that stuff for cooking. We have to have everything so I can eat very well on the road, which is awesome. We don't play around when it comes to coffee. So we have a full size espresso machine that we pull out and set on the counter every morning then when we want to use it. The bottom two drawers here, these are our closed drawers. Uh, Crystal's is up top, mine is on the bottom. We have a nice large table. We use the same butcher block that we used on the kitchen counter so it would match. It's on heavy duty drawer slides. Crystal also uses this as her workplace. Uh, so she sits here to do her work every day. We have a couple more hidden, almost hidden storage drawers back here. They go pretty far back in. Um, they're kind of like our junk drawers for the most part. Uh, you throw all those things in there that you don't need to use all the time. We had an old, one of those bed in the box mattresses and we ended up cutting it up. She used the foam from one of those, sewed up the covers for them and that makes our bench. These down here, we have a bunch of different drawers. Obviously in such a small space, you need to take advantage of all the storage you possibly can. Like Crystal said, every cabinet or everything in here was actually framed out with extruded aluminum. Behind all of the cabinets, you can see we have the extruded aluminum and then we faced everything off with wood. So all the kitchen cabinets uh, under the bed, all of it has extruded aluminum. It's light, it's sturdy, and it's super easy to work with. So these two cabinets we use for our snack cabinets can never have enough chips and junk food, right? The other thing is all of our cabinets have it, the gas struts to keep them open. 
That way we don't have to worry about sitting there holding open every door. As Crystal mentioned before, we do a lot of off-roading and having secure cabinets so things are not flying out is definitely a necessity. So these boat latches, we have had this thing rocking like crazy going through some of the off-road trails and we never have anything fly anywhere except for maybe our TV back here and the towels. <laughs> so uh, everything else stays very secure and the boat latches are definitely uh, a good option for that. Our ambulance when we bought it didn't have any windows in it at least here so we put um, one in the kitchen and one over here uh, behind the bench these are from a company called turn overland the windows themselves are double pane acrylic but they have two different points of adjustment to be able to open it also comes with the cover so if you pull down you have a blackout shade and it's illuminized on the other side or you can come up and you have a bug net or you can do both so you can pick kind of half and half what you want to do there We are from Pennsylvania and we bought an ambulance in 2019 and three years later we decided to sell everything and live in an ambulance. So we've been on the road for about six months. We decided on an ambulance for our home because it is a super solid vehicle. Uh, they are made to withstand rollover, crash ratings. I mean, they are phenomenal vehicles for this type of build. The other thing is it's square. I don't have to deal with curves when I built the whole vehicle. So it was phenomenal to be able to build everything out. We also love that it came with all of the components and um, storage as well. Um, it's a plug and play. You can just throw your stuff in the cabinet and get out of here. So that's what we like too. Yeah, for the first three years, we used the ambulance pretty much as it was with the original electric, the cabinets, uh, the whole nine yards before we gutted and had our current build. We travel with our Border Collie. This is Lincoln. He loves to play stick and ball all the time. Um, he actually has, he even has a little cow in here and when we're driving down the road, uh, we play fetch inside. But fetch is his thing and he loves to be outside all the time. Welcome to the bedroom. We have just about a queen size bed. I cut off a little bit, maybe this much of one side and maybe an inch off the bottom. So it's pretty much full size. So when my mom and I made couch cushions, we also made these little pillow cases. And um, what's cool about these is they all have zippers and we use them as storage. So we have towels, sweatshirts, the between bag where clothes aren't really clean and clothes aren't really dirty enough for the, the laundry chute. And they really came in handy because um, you can use them as props when you're watching TV over here. You can actually just sit up and it's a nice support. Behind the bed, we have a few cabinets. We store like hats, things that we don't hang on walls because they go flying. Alex made flanking little nooks in there for us to put our phones to charge at night. We do have little charge stations up there. And we, he also created these little lights we can use there on a dimmer. We also have a little laundry chute back here that um, we can just stick our clothes in there and um, wait for laundry day. We also have a Max Air fan that we use all the time. We use it for taking out the heat from our cooking. When we crack our windows, it creates a great draw through and keeps us really cool. The dog is happy. We've been happy thus far, but as you see on this wall, we also now need <laughs> an AC unit. Um, it has been really hot out here in the West. We decided to level up and get an air conditioner to just take the humidity out or just to take it down a couple degrees so we can sleep better. Over here, we do have our TV and it's on a uh, swivel mount. And while we're sitting in our living room up front, we can watch TV and kind of unwind from the craziness of adventuring. It also picks up and we can move it over here to this mount over here and we can sit down on our bench and maybe watch um, something while we're eating dinner. And it's great just to have options if we want to relax in different areas. So if Alex is sleeping and I wanna get breakfast started, I'm making bacon and it's great to have this divider here. So we've covered this with a peel and stick tile and it has held up really, really well. We primed behind it before we put the um, tile up and it has held very well. 
So for us, one of the major things with hitting the road full time, we decided that we wanted a full bathroom, running shower, the whole nine yards. We came up with this design. It seems kind of small, but for Crystal and I, it works out really well. I believe it's a 32 by 24 inch uh, RV shower pan on the floor. We framed out the entire part with the heavier duty extruded aluminum, put plywood, and then we have, this is actually a shower wall kit uh, from Lowe's, I believe. And it comes in panels, so it all clicks together. It's not actual tile. Um, super easy to cut down. We actually used a utility blade and it would cut down to size. When we use the shower, we normally pull our nature's head toilet out. Uh, the nature's head toilet is fantastic. Probably one of the best things we have in here. We do have a nice light and vent fan. This is from the same company that makes uh, the Max Air fans and you pop it up and it only pulls out one direction. It doesn't have the different variable speeds like the larger fans. The other thing is we have the Nautilus uh, shower door. These are great. They are very compact. They wrap up in this little tiny tube off to the side so you don't have a big door swinging open. So uh, the Nautilus door is fantastic. Highly recommend those. For our shower head, we got just a standard house shower head, but it does have a lower flow rate. It's about one and a half gallons per minute, so we're not blowing through our water when we're taking a shower. So we have our normal handle, and then it has the standard head up top as well, so you have a couple different options. So our water tank is 65 gallons, which is very large. Uh, it's a lot of weight but we like to stay off grid as long as we can. And one of the goals for this build was to be able to stay off grid for, I would say probably about a week before having to go back into town. And I feel like we've accomplished that pretty well. So in such a small space, uh, hooks really come in handy. We do have these foldable hooks. We have one here, one here, there. It's nice that they fold away. So that way, when you're walking by in a tight space, you're not going to catch yourself on them. They're super inexpensive, but they really come in handy. The hardest part about buying an ambulance is all the electrical components that come with the vehicle from the factory. There is miles upon miles of wiring in here. And when we did the demolition going through, we tried to rip out as much as we could of the items that we didn't need, keeping s still some of the ambulance portions functional. So we still have the original computer board here. Um, the screen still works. It uh, handles the heat and AC unit. We did keep the heat and AC unit that came with the original box, and which is really nice when you're driving. When the truck is running, we can run heat or AC, and it runs in ventilation that goes back uh, on the ceiling. I did upgrade all of the electrical for the house portion of it. Down below here, we have two signature solar uh, server rack style batteries. They are 400 amp hours each, so we have 800 amp hours of lithium battery. Behind here, we also have a 3000 watt uh, Victron inverter. We have our, pretty much our whole system is through Victron. They do a fantastic job with being able to connect everything together. So we have our inverter charge controller. We have a DC to DC charger. We also have the Serbo GX to allow us to connect a lot of things together. One of the other things we use uh, down here is a Ruby tag. The Ruby tag connects into our Victron Serbo GX and it allows us to monitor uh, temperature and humidity inside the ambulance. We said earlier, uh, Crystal works in the back at the larger table. This is my workspace. Uh, I have the front seat. This is a nice little swivel, allows both of us to work separately. So if we're on Zoom calls or anything like that, we have our own space to be able to work at. We did upgrade the seats in here. The original ambulance seats were absolutely horrible. We pretty much rode down the road sideways because they were all crooked and um, worn out. So the Shieldman seats are fantastic, worth every penny. They have something like 10 different points of adjustment, come standard, heated, and when you're on the road and you're in the seats for a long time, it is really, really comfortable. We did, as you can see, we put swivel bases on here. The swivel bases were very easy to install. It was basically a one for one swap. And then the Shieldman seats bolted directly to that. It does make it very nice to have our own little living room space, a nice place to come relax, have a comfortable seat to sit in and be able to kick back for the evening. So our rig is a 2003 E450, does have the 7.3 liter power stroke in it. Now that it's lifted and four wheel drive, it definitely drives different than when it was two wheel drive. It allows us to really make it pretty much anywhere we need to go. Previously when it was two wheel drive, I think our biggest hurdle was the ground clearance. Now we have the ability to 
just clear those things or put it in four wheel drive and pull right out and get going down the road. Over here, uh, again, we kept some of the original ambulance parts. This here helps run the rear heat and AC unit uh, with the different buttons. Um, here we have our drying rack for towels. Uh, this is from Ikea. It's really nice, has extendable arms and you have three different points, swivels. Our max air fan control and also our lights. So our lights in the ceiling are in two zones. We have our front zone that is pretty much from the bed forward. And then we have our rear zone, which is just over the bed. Um, both are dimmable and under different controls. We also have an outdoor light. Uh, LED light on the side of the ambulance and that is dimmable as well. This was from the Serbo GX. This gives us all of our information about power, solar, pretty much anything we need to know about all the systems in here. We do also have it rigged up for our water so we can see our water levels. We have a Bluetooth, it's almost like a sonar sensor for our propane. So uh, we can tell our propane levels on here as well. Uh, we have our temperature sensors. Going back to the hooks, we found this on Amazon. I think it has like five different hooks. They all just fold down and up. Crystal found these shoe holders. We were tired of all of our shoes laying all over the front door. They literally just stick onto the wall and they have a little screw so you can screw them on. And they've been working fantastic to keep the entryway a little bit more clean. When we originally bought the ambulance, uh, we only paid $6,800 for the vehicle. Uh, had 82,000 miles on it when we bought it, needed new tires, and feel like we got a phenomenal deal on it. Uh, we used it for three years as it was, and when we decided to go and gut everything, we ended up in the build, interior build, electrical and all of that. We're in it for about 35,000. And then the four x four conversion was probably around another 25,000 on top of that. So uh, all said and done, the way it sits now, and right around 70,000. So one of the ways that we afforded to be able to do this was we sold our house. We took advantage of the housing market. Uh, my house doubled in value and we used a lot of that to put into this and really kick off our journey. Both of us still work remote. Uh, we both work part-time. I do sales and marketing for an outdoor company and Crystal here does accounting and bookkeeping. One of the biggest advantages to having an ambulance is these exterior cabinets. Um, in our build, we did end up cutting out a lot of them, but we tried to do it in a way where we could still use a lot of the storage. So up front here, this one is just extra access into our electrical battery banks. Down here is a drawer for more engine batteries. Uh, to start up 7.3, you gotta have multiple batteries. So we have one in the engine compartment and we have one down here. These back cabinets here, this one is basically like a tool closet. We have bike pumps and drills, but it goes back in there pretty far. Everybody always mentions the rock climbing holds on the side of the wall. Before we put the awning up, we did use this as our ladder. And then I put the awning up and realized, well, that doesn't work anymore. So, but we left them and it's still fun to play on every once in a while. This cabinet here, this is one that used to go the whole entire way. We cut it out so we could put our bed in here. The bottom, we have our chairs and extra shoes and all of that. And then this down here, since it's kind of blocked off from the rest, is our fuel cabinet. So we have extra diesel. We do have our diesel heater fuel tank in there our propane tank, we kind of keep all the chemicals and stuff down there so that's all out of the way and doesn't come back into the cab. No build would be complete without your bottle opener, right? <laughs> um, up top here, we do have an Overland Vehicle Systems 270 degree awning. The awning, uh, when deployed, comes all the way and covers the whole side of the box swings around and covers almost the entire rear of the box. It's the only one that I could find that was that large that would give us that much coverage the whole way around. In the rear here, we have a very custom rear bumper. Uh, when you buy an ambulance, there's nothing off the shelf to be able to have aftermarket parts. So we designed the bumper. I am not a welder, so I had somebody else weld it for us. Um, we have two swing arms. The one here holds our spare tire, our trash bag and our pole for our Starlink. We leave our Starlink there when we travel. It sits low enough behind the box where it's not gonna get taken out by any trees or anything like that. Um, but it also extends up about 20 feet, which is fantastic when you have those low tree coverage 
areas, you can get up above that and get better signal. On this side, we have two more containers. These are great. As you can see, they are stuffed full of random things. We do have our Blackstone grill and propane fire pit those types of items, and then our leveling blocks and some extra tools. We have our bike racks up top. We use the one-up bike racks. They are absolutely fantastic. And a lot of people ask, why are your bikes so high in the air? We actually had a couple stay at our house years ago and they almost had their bikes stolen off the back of their rig at a red light. So when we built this, we decided, well, we want it to be high. I would rather it be more difficult to get down than somebody walk up and take our bikes off in the middle of the street. Both of these open up. Both of the swing arms have locks to keep them in place so they're not gonna fly all over the place if you're on an angle. Uh, in the back here, we do have garage storage. So we have a big bug net, a uh, magnetic bug net, so we can keep the doors open, keep the breeze coming through. We have a giant drawer slide on this side. Uh, we have six of these front runner totes for really good organization. So we keep this side for the bulkier items. We do have a lot of our winter clothes and other gear. We have a little tiny vacuum pump with the bags. We vacuum seal everything and it allows us to fit a lot more back here for longer term storage for the items that we don't use a whole lot. Uh, as you can see, we still have some hoses coming down here. We are in the middle of the install of our AC unit, which Crystal talked about briefly earlier. Uh, the AC unit we decided to go with is a 12 volt mini split. Once we actually fire it up, hopefully uh, within a day or two, We'll have to report back on our social media to let everybody know how well that works. Uh, some of the other items we have up top, the two big black bins are our boat kayaks. Uh, they're inflatable, absolutely fantastic. The other items up there, we do have 750 watts of solar. Uh, that way we can keep topped off on the battery. And we also have uh, a little one wheel trailer that connects to our bike. So when we go ride, Lincoln, uh, our dog, will be able to ride along with us. This back cabinet here, this is another one where we cut out halfway to be able to fit our bed across. However, the underside, our uh, 65 gallon water tank fits right in this area. We're able to open this cabinet up. That's where we fill our water. This is where our water pump is. We have a basically a standard uh, RV style hot water heater um, that we had to cut the hole in the door to be able to have that mounted. Our diesel heater is in this cabinet. So all of our water components are in one area along with the diesel heater. So when we do any winter camping, I can fire that diesel heater up, even running it on low, will be uh, warm enough to keep everything from freezing along the way. These double doors, this is basically some storage and the back of our kitchen. If I ever need to access the plumbing under the sink, I can open that up and I don't have to worry about climbing under the counters or anything like that. This one here, we actually cut this cabinet out completely. This is where our shower is now. However, we did run some plumbing up here and we now have the ability to hook up a hose and have a, an outdoor shower. We do also have shore power here. This used to be for running the heat and AC unit, the rear one, uh, but we completely disconnected that. So this one isn't functional. However, we can still plug in a standard extension cord here, and this will be able to charge our batteries, run our electrical outlets, and it basically runs through our Victron uh, inverter charger. Moving forward here, we had a very heavy duty custom front bumper made. I feel like we could run over just about anything with this and it wouldn't do any damage. Uh, both of the front and rear bumper are made out of quarter inch steel. They are not light bumpers by any means, um, but they turned out fantastic. When we had the ambulance converted to four wheel drive, it did get lifted and we had some upgraded components. Uh, the front now has a solid front axle. We are running 33 inch tires and we upgraded to the really nice aftermarket Fox shocks all the way around for a better ride. Up top here, we did put an over the cab rack. We did get the basket for some extra storage and we ended up just putting a box up there. The box gives us some more waterproof storage. So we have off-road recovery gear, some more tools and just extra items that we don't really need access to all the time. If you're looking to get out and do this, um, my biggest advice is to honestly just go do it. If you sit around and you think about it and you keep planning, you're just gonna keep sitting there and planning and planning and you're never gonna make it happen. At some point, you just have to get up and go. Uh, we made our decision in literally four days. It was a long time coming, but uh, I called Crystal on a Monday 
and by Thursday we were starting to sell things. So if you, if you want to do this, just get out and do it. Use the vehicle you have, use the things you have. You don't need anything special, just go. I am a planner, so it is really hard to um, leave it all open-ended. <laughs> He's, I'm like, where are we going? He's like, somewhere. I'm like, ah, <laughs> it's terrifying, but it's okay, just go. Thanks for coming along on this tour. If you'd like to follow along any of our journeys, we are Emergency Getaway on all social media. Super easy to find us. Special thanks to... Yes. <laughs> Pine yeah. Grove. <laughs> yeah, special thanks to Pine Grove Outfitters. Uh, they outfit us with a lot of our shirts that we wear almost every single day. Super comfortable. Definitely check them out. And see you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>